Hello everyone, and welcome to another horror news update episode, where I talk to you about the latest films and movies and TV series, all related to horror, just to satisfy your bloody minds. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? First on the menu today, if you don't know, Hatchet is in the works of getting a 3. I know I talked about this a few weeks ago, but I wanted to go ahead and mention a few other more things because there are now new announcements on the Hatchet 3 cast members. Let me see here. Derek Myers from Friday the 13th is going to star. Caroline Williams from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Sean Whalen from The People Under the Stairs. Diane Goldner from The Collector. And... That seems about it for the main cast members. Now, if you don't know, the original Hatchet cameraman, a guy named B.J. McDonnell, he is making his direct, a, his uh, director debut, his first time directing a film with Hatchet 3. So anyways, Adam Green is, you know, producing the film. Anyways, that's Hatchet 3. We have new cast members. The anticipation for it is kind of mixed right now. Hatchet is one of those films, if you ask me, you either love the film or you hate the film. As for me, I wasn't too fond of either one or two, but I will check out three just to see what it has to offer, though I'll have to wait for a trailer of Hatchet 3 for my final opinion. Anyways, might be something you want to check out for all you Hatchet fans out there. Other news. If you don't know... Exorcist is in the works of having its own TV series. Now, I don't know which channel it will premiere on. Hopefully, you know, something like HBO, you know, something somewhere along those lines. Because that would mean, you know, lots of gore, lots of, you know, horror tropes. So it needs to be a graphic series. Anyways, the horror Exorcist TV series will take place before the... You know, the before the Exorcist film, it will be a 10-episode series, and all the events will take place before the film. So the events leading up to the demonic possession, and the after events of how the family copes with it. Now, what I was kind of curious about, I don't know yet, I was curious about whether or not the last episode would actually, you know take the events of the movie, if they would ever try to, you know, reenact the movie in any sort of way. But I'm really curious to see this Exorcist TV series come to the works. As always, all links will be in the description below, so make sure to check those things out for more info on all of these articles. Roy Lee from The Departed and The Ring is on board to produce the project, so make sure to check out the upcoming episode the upcoming uh, Exorcist TV series. Definitely might want to check that out. The guy that will be directing it will be, uh, I believe, uh, Sean Durkin. So might be something you want to check out. Anyways, enough about The Exorcist. Other news. Maniac is in the works of being remade. I already talked about this a few weeks ago, but the original, you know, starred Joe Spinell. This one's going to star Elijah Wood, playing the guy named Frank Zito as a serial killer. Anyways, if you don't know, the new international trailer is up for Maniac, and this trailer is a lot better than the previous one. It shows a lot more footage. Not a ton more footage, but it does show a little bit more. So I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check out that new trailer for Maniac, because the new trailer for Maniac looks really cool. It looks like it'll be a great remake, so I can't wait for that Maniac film to come out. Anyways, new trailer below. Make sure to check that out. We also have a new trailer for Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Now, I don't think I've talked about this film much on the horror news, but if you don't know, there's an Abraham Lincoln uh, movie coming out. It's based off a novel where apparently, I believe Abraham's mother gets killed, and now he be, he gets hired by someone to become a vampire hunter to hunt down vampires. I believe that's the gist of the film. Anyways, the Red Band trailer is now up. The film comes out in theaters near you June 22nd. Might be something you want to check out. The trailer for Vampire Hunter, if you ask me, looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. So definitely check that out. Other news. This one's not too huge. I just wanted to mention it. Rob Zombie, after he makes Lords of Salem, is going to make another film called Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, I have no idea what the film's about because apparently he's keeping it all under the rug. He's not saying much about it. But apparently, he said it's been his pet project for a long time. He's always wanted to make it. Let me read you an exact quote that he actually said in an interview. 
it's not a dead project. It'll happen eventually. I don't have a deal for it, but that was supposed to be my movie I did after Halloween, and then it never happened. For some reason, in the last six months or so, everybody seems incredibly interested in it again. So the goal is to make that the next movie after The Lords of Salem. I don't know if it will be, because it's such a weird business. But Tyrannosaurus Rex has always been my pet project that I've always wanted to make. It's the movie, it's the movie I've been dying to make forever. So, that's all the information we know. I don't know if it's about a T-Rex. I have no idea. I don't know what the movie's about. All I know is, is that that's the film that he will be working on, hopefully, after The Lords of Salem. Lords of Salem should be coming out sometime later on this year. If you don't know, there's a teaser trailer up for that. I'll also put that, in, that link in the description. If you don't know, Hannibal is in the works of having a TV series. Yes, I'm talking about the old movie. movie. That movie, I loved. I loved Science of the Lambs. I loved Hannibal. Well, I thought it was really cool when NBC, you know, the channel, picked it up for a series. And now we have casting its first star. I believe the guy's name is Hugh Dancy. And he is one of the two leads in Hannibal. The series will be written and produced by a guy named Brian Fuller and a girl named Martha Dillon Turles. So, might be something you guys want to check out. It sounds really cool. It's said to be like kind of a contemporary thriller series featuring classic characters from Red Dragon. It will not have the character Clary Starling, just in case you guys are wondering. But it will have the characters from the novel Red Dragon, including uh, Hannibal Lecter, you know, Will Graham and their relationship. So, definitely might be something you want to check out. Uh... Apparently, they're they're making a, a third. It's going to be a thirteen episodes in the first season. So definitely might be something you want to check out. I can't wait till Hannibal comes out. Other news: Lifetime is also bringing up another kind of Science of the Lambs TV series. This time, though, it's going to be about the Clary Starling character, and it's going to premiere on Lifetime, the channel. Like I said. And they're planning on it, if it's successful, they're planning on it to be a seven-season arc, which, you know, is a, is a lot of seasons. Of course, it would take many years for that to happen. And if it's popular enough, it would keep going on. Anyways, this series, though, will have will have the Clary Starling character, and it will, about, it will be about the events before the movie Science of the Lambs and how she became into the police academy, you know, her child life, those kind of tropes is what the movie, or not movie, what the TV series will be about. So, another thing that you might want to check out. Sounds kind of cool. You know, Lifetime, though, would be more of a, I imagine it would be thriller, but I imagine it won't be as, you know, it won't be as good as the Hannibal series on NBC, though I can't say my final opinion until I see both. Anyways, kind of strange we're getting all these TV series. If you don't know, Hellraiser is also in the works of a TV series. I'll put the link in the description for that article also. We have Hellraiser, we have Science of the Lambs, we have, you know, with Clary Starling, we have NBC, 666 Park Avenue, if you watched my last one. Now The Exorcist, horror is getting a lot of TV series, so right now, it's just a great time for horror. That's all the main news articles, you know, and now I want to talk about something that's actually real life. You know, this, this actually happened, I'll put a link in the description below. Because this sounds like, you know, this this is some weird stuff that happened. Apparently, there was a guy named, there was a 31-year-old man named Rudy Eugene, who was identified as a cannibal recently. Apparently, I guess he'd been doing some, some LSD, you know, with bat, he had an overdose of like cocaine and bath salt, some weird synthetic drugs that were going around. Anyways, apparently he overdosed on that, found an old hobo, like, in an alleyway or something, and started eating him. The really strange thing was that he was eating his face, and while he was doing this, he was naked. So, imagine this. There's a naked guy running around eating a hobo. Sounds an awfully like a zombie apocalypse, doesn't it? Might want to lock your doors tonight, just in case he comes after you. Anyways, link in the description below for more info about that. That is a real-life story. There's also a picture in the article about the event, so really strange stuff going on. Kind of laughed at the article because I thought it was just so strange. You know, I might wake up, 
you know, tomorrow I'll look out my window and see the zombie apocalypse on my hands, you might want to load your shotguns and get ready for what's going on. Anyways, that's all the news for today. Go ahead and subscribe to my page, like this uh, video, and I'll see you guys later with another horror news update.